Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great. Please check out the description box, and you got a bunch of links down there, and uh, you can contact me on the mail. It was a bunch of stuff down there that's useful. Anyway, uh, just drop a like or subscribe if you can. If you can't, just keep watching, keep learning, because today we're talking about OpenGL, and we're gonna we're gonna keep working on this damn thing we had a little issue in the last video uh, it was this frame buffer resize callback so let me just walk you through that quickly the thing I did was I just went into main and I removed it from here I, I copied it basically and I put it in the H file but when you're working with functions like that uh, you need a header and a body alright and you need to remove the old one obviously uh, so but what I did otherwise uh, was I made it a part of the class so I, I kind of set it to static frame buffer resize callback so I just static frame buffer resize call right here and then um, you kinda still need to send these in because these aren't static in in the game class alright so you send these in anyway and then you create a definition for it so I'm kinda losing myself here there you go so void game frame buffer resize callback and I put it under on the bottom here under static functions and then just GLV port all this beautiful stuff okay and then when we call it we're calling it from main right now we'll change that but what's happening is I'm doing game colon colon frame buffer resize callback so just make sure you get all these small details correct here the static keyword and all that stuff and we'll work with this later if it if it kinda messes up the program for us but still right now the focus is to just slowly move stuff over okay so well, let's say that we we did this create window thingy let's go into create window here and uh, or init window where is it there we go init window and here we have the thingy game colon colon here as well there you go uh, and this is pretty much fine so what we can do is we can just keep going down let's see so we have all this data here we have the title uh, now we need to initialize first we need to initialize glfw alright so if we go into our game class here I created a function in the last video I'll just control dot enter and then we'll get a definition up here in game.cpp right here now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste that in right there easy peasy okay and I'm gonna put it uh, under private functions above in a window just like that and this returns a a value if it didn't work alright and we need to make a check for window as well when we create the window that if it's null after this if it's still null that means creating the window was didn't work and will uh, end the whole program right here and the same thing with glfw in it if glfw in it like that then we'll just do a std cout error error glfw init failed and then we'll do a new line and then we'll glfw terminate and we'll end it right there uh, so there you go. So this kind of kind of returning values is is really important. Let's just see here if termination would return additional calls to this function after successful reasons. So we false. So we in it equals glfw false. So there you go. If it was if there's an error, we'll terminate it. Okay, that's cool. Mm, and this returns. Okay, so let's go into init window. Let's do if um, this. And also, we need to change this to this window. This window equals null pointer. Then it then we have an error. Okay, so we're just gonna do std cout error um, gfw window 
init failed. We'll do new line, glfw, terminate, boom. Okay, so that's good. And then we, we kind of just want to terminate everything and, and just get the hell out of there. So glfw, uh, delete window, destroy window. This window, and then we want glfw terminate. There we go. So if we look at our main at the bottom, we have a bunch of stuff that clears stuff out. So we destroy the window, we terminate, and we do the same thing for for this uh, game the, in the game destructor. All right. So that's really important to do. So once we do that. Um, and we should be good. So this was if the window was not created and so on and so on. And there we go. Then we should be fine. So that's the GLFW initialization. Now if I just, if I make the glue initial, control dot enter. If we go ahead and do that, it should uh, be right here. Just minimize all of these. So you see what's going on. Uh, boom. Okay, so the glue initialization. And if we go into main, let's find the glue initialization. So this is it. And it has its own little uh, error message and everything. So we'll just copy this, copy all of this, and go into game, put it in here. And probably nothing else than that required. So we'll just initialize it and we'll see out everything, all the error and stuff. We'll change all of this to throw uh, catch exceptions later. But for now, we'll just leave it at see out. Mm, let me just see if we have this window. This window, this frame buffer width. Okay, let's just correct the, all of this here and there. This window. Okay. That seems fine. And also here seems fine. Okay, cool. So there you go. Now we got some stuff ready. Now if I were to initialize all of these in the constructor right here, I would do all the variables, then I do this init glfw, and then this init glue. And this is really good to see all the kind of order of everything, right? And after you initialize glue, then we're going to initialize OpenGL functions. All right, so I'm going to create a function for that as well. Let's go into game.cpp, game.h. And I'm going to do it in the same order. So void init opengl options. Just create a definition. Boom. So these uh, like latest videos are kind of tedious and you have to kind of copy paste shit and do a bunch of stuff that's really annoying. So I'm really sorry about that. But in order to kind of uh, port everything over, we're going to have to do this, right? And we're going to make init initializing this these things a lot easier with maybe a file as well. So I'm just we're just going to work through all those things and it'll be a lot easier. So this is a good tutorial to separate all your code and do it in a clean way and an easy way. So the idea is going to be that we want to have one file. We can just change a bunch of shit and all of this is going to happen automatically. Now we did kind of create that for the OpenGL version, but we haven't done that for resizable for all of these options in here. So we're going to have to do that. Uh, but the order here would be this init OpenGL options. Boom. And that's kind of the order. So if you look in main, we're fine. We're pretty much fine with that. No biggie. And uh, looks looks okay. Looks all right. Um, and then we have the draw or the render and the update function. So I'm just going to create definitions for that. And then we're going to have to end this video right, because it will be too long. Let me just do that. The update and the render. So the update itself is not going to kind of have a loop in it. So main is going to hold the loop, but render and update, they're going to kind of run after each other, one after another. Um, functions. All right, and we shouldn't have an issue. Okay. Uh, there's one more function I just want to create. I want to create access, access 
floor like that and I want to create a little function that returns the window for us as a constant pointer that we can check so we can check if it's open or not all right so I'm just gonna do GLF W now if we look at main how we do it um, what happens in the while loop is where is it right here if it should close and it checks the window right now what we could do actually is just get a int to go back so I can just do an int um, get window should close that's what we're gonna call it and we're just gonna do that create a definition now in the definition we need to do this all right we need to send this in so I'm just gonna do this copy paste that and return uh, this window all right and also if you want to close the window like we do in in the top here update input for window we're setting window should close the window and glfw true all right so we're setting it here now i want to create a, a modifier for that i want to do a void set window should close and then i want to have a um oh whoops one second there you go uh let's see uh, then we're just or we're just gonna we're just gonna leave it at that we don't need a boolean in there we're just gonna set it to true set it to true there we go um, glf w window should close this window um, and we'll set it to true so there you go no problems this is a accessor I'm gonna put it below accessors and this is a modifier modifier and I'm gonna put it below modifier so there you go now we have a bunch of stuff here going if we still run this we're still running on the main itself so we shouldn't have any issues now so you should be able to see your little cat and move it around and all that no issues all right so that's good that's good now we have we have uh, we've set all that stuff now once we have our let's see where it is core let's see test all right, that's our mesh right there. Okay, cool. So we're gonna have arrays for all of this vectors in here in game.h. So we can have a bunch of textures, uh, programs, shaders, and and meshes, and all that stuff. We're gonna draw a bunch of shit. So we're gonna be good. Um, but again, thank you so much for watching. Please drop a like or subscribe if you like it. If you don't, just go ahead and watch. This enough. Uh, check the description box. You got a bunch of cool links there that you can that you can use. All right. So thank you again. Take care. Best of luck. I'll see you guys, and girls, in the next one. All right. Bye bye.